everybody, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got for you my keto grocery haul and fabulous Target deals I picked up today that are food related in groceries, so I thought I would stick them in this video. I'm not gonna do a cooking with you today. Nothing I'm making is really spectacular or new. I'm gonna do sausage and eggs for breakfast. I am gonna make crack slaw for lunch, which is just cabbage and hamburger and seasoning. Nothing really earth shattering there. And I'm gonna make some waffles, which I've already cooked with you. So it's gonna be short and sweet. I'm just gonna go over my deals and I'm gonna go over the foods that I bought today. All right, oh, and this is not a zit. I scratched myself with my own nails, rude. And I got my hair cut. I'm feeling very Jamie Lee Curtis, except for she's, you know, not, I'm not her. But I have gray short hair. All right, let's go over what I bought at the grocery store. All right, here is what we did. I spent $25.18 at Aldi. I spent $27.81 at Target. $9.93 of that is pet food and kitty litter. So that comes off my food budget. And I got a $10 gift card back. So if I don't count the gift card, I spent $43.06, which is a little bit over my budget, but I really stocked up on some stuff, so I'm okay with that. However, if you take my $10 gift card into consideration, which I received back, I spent $33.06, way under budget today. So I'm gonna move my, oops, my little list, and we're gonna go over what, ha what happened or what the deal was. So at Target, all of their ready-made beverages, so not coffee, not tea, not alcohol, I don't think Crystal Lights, things like that, but the ready-made, so canned soda, these drinks, fitness drinks, all of these beverages, spend $25, get a $10 gift card back. Hello. And then on the Zevia, I got an 85 cents, I bought a rebate, and when I bought four of the sparkles, sparkling ice, I got a dollar back. So I got a dollar eighty-five. So really my I spent like thirty-one dollars if we're gonna count. Okay, so after the gift card and all of my discounts, this Powerade eight pack was three dollars. I mean that's crazy to me. And I I use a lot of this, especially in the summer when I'm riding my bike, but even now. But so this is three dollars. The individual bottles were fifty-five cents a piece. I really wanted the Gatorade sugar-free because it's really good, but they don't carry it yet. It's a newer product. The ice, which started at a dollar, were 62 cents. Oh, I'm sorry. These started at 88 cents, and they went down to 55. This pack was 4.79, and it went down to $3. These waters, which I love these waters, were 69 cents originally, and I paid 43 cents a piece for them. The Zevia was $4.99 regularly, and I paid $3.12. And this is very keto-friendly. The sweetener in it is Stevia. All these other drinks, the, the sweeteners aren't really that great for you, but sometimes I just got to do what I got to do. So, but the Zevia is really good. This is the ginger ale. All my Target had was root beer and ginger ale. I know I can get it for the, about the same price at Whole Foods if I wanted more, but I like it. There's the cat foods. Now, the Hormel bacon, which this was some really good looking bacon, was um, $5.49 and I had a 30% off cartwheel. So I only paid for the bacon $3.91, which is like 25 cents more than the Aldi, but this looks a little better than what they had at the Aldi for that price point. So, of course, I jumped on it because, well, duh, bacon. I bought some of this, and this was, this put me over. This was $4.89. It's sesame oil, but I'm going to use it in my crack slaw because it's egg roll in a bowl is what I'm making, and it's Asian-inspired. And I don't know. There is no good to date on sesame oil, but there, I have one in my fridge. I'm throwing that one away because it's making me nervous, so I bought some more. Not the best deal, but I needed it, and at that point, I just picked it up. Now, the deal of the century. Drum roll, please. Brrr, chicken thighs. Can we all take a look at this package? The chicken thighs 
and they weren't even that bad. Or $1.49 a pound. This is um, 2.29 pounds. It was $3.41. There's a $3 off coupon. So I paid $0.41 cents for these chicken th this package. Now, the goodbye date or sell-by is today. I will just throw them in my freezer, and I'll cook them later. So $0.41 cents for this one. This one was $4.50, so I paid $1.50, and that was $4.32, so I paid $1.32. So I got approximately three, six, seven, eight pounds of chicken thighs for $3.23. Like, that's crazy. And I eat chicken thighs all the time, and I love the bone and skin on ones, especially for long roasting. You know, crisp up that skin in a pan, and then throw it in the oven. Oh, so good. So I got three of those. I'll go in the freezer. So all of that was $27.81 minus the pet food. I took that out. $27.81. And then again, they handed me back a $10 gift card that I will put on my account and I will use for more groceries at a future date. I used a $25 gift card. I forgot to mention that. I, that I had on my account that I got from Ibotta from buying food and stuff. So that's what I do. Like I will get up to the point where I can get a 25 or $20 gift card, cash it out. I put it on my Target app and then I used it. So that's how I spent 27. It was actually 37 81, I think. No, it was 27 81 out of pocket or 17 88 for all this. Oh, the number, sorry. I'm freaking y'all out. $17.81 is what I spent after the pet food. And if you take out the $10 gift card, it was $7.88 for all of this. Then I went to Aldi. At Aldi, I spent $25.10. Um, I picked up a few, or I'm sorry, $25.18. I picked up a few things that I needed and a few things just to keep stock um, because I don't like running out. I got some of this cheese. I'm trying to go with the slices or um, shredding my own but I'm making some egg and sausage. I needed some cheese. The sharp cheddar, and then I got some pepper jack, and these, the cheeses were $1.79 a piece for these. I picked up some more salsa. I really like salsa. It's good on pork rinds, but I also cook with it, and I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I just eat it. Um, because it only has two carbs for two tablespoons, and it's a whole you know nice flavor. This was $1.19. It's a good deal, and that's a 24-ounce jar. So I got one of those. For work, I needed some coffee, so I grabbed hazelnut this time. And this will last me a couple weeks. I got some hazelnut. Um, like I said, some staple items I just always pick up. I grabbed a stevia for here or work. I think I'm fine at work, so for here. I grabbed one Kerrygold butter because I have plenty of my cooking butter. So I grabbed one of those this week. Uh, sausage for breakfast. This is just their pork sausage roll. Oh, I'm sorry. This was $1.99. The stevia was $2.59. The Kerrygold butter is $2.85. And this coffee was $3.79. Then I got three dozen eggs. These are 88 cents a piece. I'm going to do some baking. And I cooked up some eggs last night and took them to my cousins. We had game night and I made um, deviled eggs. I got some cabbage. This was $1.49 for this head of cabbage. And I, they finally had some cream, so I grabbed three at $1.55. So that's my total for all the $25.18. And then the extras I picked up were these two little, oh my gosh, they are so adorable. They're just little stuffies. My coworker has two little grandbabies. I love them. So I grabbed them each one for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to put them in a little bag with some candy. And I got them each some Avenger toothbrushes. And these were 99 cents. So cute. So that is it. That is my keto grocery haul for the week of January 27th. I hope you all have a good one. If you have any questions, issues, concerns, comments, go ahead and comment below. Uh, my email and other information is in the drop down box below my smiling face. And have a great one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.